from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And you guys have been asking me a lot of questions lately. And one of the questions that comes up again and again and again is, <clears throat> excuse me, how do you make an arch frame to make a balloon arch? So I want to show you this. This is going to be a little bit difficult to film in this small room, but we're going to do our best. So what we have here is um, I have a piece of, uh, of wood. It's a two by two uh, square piece of wood. <clears throat> We've painted it black. On it, we have a flange. And then into the, it, uh, screwed into the flange, we have a threaded pipe. Here I have a four foot piece of EMT and I'm just going to put that right into that threaded pipe. Now you see there's a lot of tape on there because we use these for columns all the time. Um, and most of the time, usually I would in fact tape this down. I'm not going to today, uh, but normally I would. I would tape this up really good so it's nice and tight um, and you wanna tape it on a diagonal. But today we're not going to. Okay, then the next thing I have here is I have three pieces of the gray PVC. Um, so usually you want to get the schedule 40 um, and ideally you want to get the three quarter inch. I accidentally pulled the wrong one so I got the half inch which is okay. I'm going to show you how what to do even if you make a mistake like that. Um, but normally if you get the three quarter inch then it would slide over that half inch uh, EMT right there. But because I failed to do so, it's not going to slide. Now, the thing about this gray PVC compared to the white PVC is that it has these little bells on the end. And so that's so you can connect them together without needing the extra connector piece. You could also use the extra connector piece, but I find it just makes a weaker uh, connection than using the ones with the little bells. So what I have, I had them cut, and I just, you know, go to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever my local hardware store is, and I have them cut them for me. Um, and I just, I have them cut them to eight feet. So I have three pieces of eight feet. And you'll notice that this center piece, um, it doesn't have the bells on the end because it's gonna connect into the bells on either side. Okay, so you'll notice that I have a piece of tape in the center of the center. And that is so that I know where the center is um, because sometimes when we're making arches, we start in the center. Uh, as, as is going to be the case in the arch that I'm going to be building with this particular frame. So I usually will keep the center marked. And actually, if I weren't doing this to show you guys, I would probably have the entire thing painted or covered in black tape so that if it does show through, sometimes it shows through, you wouldn't see the ugly gray. It would be clean. But because I wanted you to see what I'm using in the materials, I did not do that. Okay, so what we're going to do, and this is going to be extremely awkward <laughs> to do in this studio, but basically what we're going to do is just connect those. And if you want it more secure, you can tape it up, um, but it's a, it, it should be a pretty good lock. If you give it a little twist, it should be a pretty good lock. And we're going to, there we go, <laughs> do the same thing over on the other side. Okay, so you see that, now, the, this is what's important. The reason that we have three pieces and not two is because you don't want the stress right there in the center because then it's more likely to um, break and pop open. So you want that center piece to have a nice gentle curve and, and not have, a, you know, like if you use two, 20 foot, two 10 foot pieces for the 20 foot, you're almost certainly inviting disaster. Okay, so now what do you do if you accidentally bought the wrong size and it won't just slide over or you accidentally pulled the wrong size? So what you're going to do is this. And if you'll just hold that one for a second. We're just going to quite simply take our duct tape. <laughs> and this is why we don't normally wear fancy clothes when we do balloons. <laughs> And you're going to just basically, hey, ow, oh boy. <laughs> All right. And um, you should always cover <laughs> the ends of your raw pipe so that you don't do what I just did. Um, <laughs> but basically, we're just going to duct tape this down. <laughs> Bloody duct tape. All right. And uh, we'll be right back after I... And we're back. Okay. So... <laughs> 
This leads me to an important point, and that is always cover your cut metal with a balloon so that you don't cut yourself on it. So what we have here, uh, you see I was duct taping it. We got some, some zip ties, and we just zip tied the, e, the uh, PVC to the EMT. Now, something that I want to show you, you see here we cut the cable ties. A lot of times I won't cut it. I'll just kind of tuck it into the balloons at the end because when you cut it, it leaves a sharp edge. So if you are going to cut it, you definitely want to be sure to cover it with tape, just like so, okay? So that way you're not having a sharp edge that's going to poke the balloons. And you may even need a couple of layers of tape just depending on, um, on how sharp your cutters are. All right, like that. Okay, so let me just cover these up real quick, and then that's also going to make this a more solid connection that will withstand the pressure of the balloons once they're all on it. All right. And one more. You have to suffer for your art. All right. So like I said, a lot of times I won't, I won't clip the edges. Um, I'll just leave it long and then I'll tuck it into the balloons and it'll kind of disappear. Um, so it just kind of depends. But anyways, there, now we have it zip tied, we have it taped, and it's a pretty good strong connection. We're going to come over here and do it. So this is, this is a way that you can uh, make your own arch um, using common materials from the hardware store. And... Uh, it's really good. Now you'll notice we've got these big two by two base plates. You really want a good footprint because there's a lot of pressure on the arch, especially this one is about 24 feet, uh, 24 feet long. Uh, if it was linear, this is about a double doorway size. This would be about the arch size that we would use for a double doorway. Okay. Let's get that on and I'm just going to throw a couple more pieces of tape to make it even more secure. Um, you can always cut it down afterwards with a, uh, with a knife, so don't be afraid to use too much tape. <laughs> secure is better than not secure. All right, so there we go. Here we have, I don't know if we can get the whole thing or not, it's, it's uh, quite large. See if I can just spread it out a little bit. Um, but here we have our basic double doorway sized arch frame. And, uh, and then we're going to load balloons on it. So tune in for the how to make a star pattern arch video to see what we do with this. Until next time, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you like my video. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some love. Tell me what you think. Ask me questions. Communicate with me. This is a two-way thing here. And especially tell me what else you want to know. This video is because you guys asked. I did this for you. Until then, go forth and balloonify.